So for today, we're going to be looking at my Warlock from Shadow Keep all the way to Season of the Lost. And like in every in all these videos, it's going to be a progression of Shadow Keep all the way up to Season of the Lost. And then at that point, after we're done with this video, I'll most likely start doing more fashion videos just because I've been getting really into fashion lately since since like we have transmog and whatnot. But if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or just want to shoot me likes or subscribe even I, that would be very much appreciated and that would make me really happy but let's get on with the video let's look at my warlock from shadow keep this one obviously i was going for like a very regal look like like she's like almost royalty and i think i nailed it i think the only thing i would probably change would be like the the bond the arms and the legs everything else is fine if i'm being quite honest the arms i just don't know if they look like like she's royalty so probably something along along the line look along the lines of this or maybe this one that actually looks way cooler yeah way, way better and then boots i would probably go with something like maybe with this one uh oh that one looks pretty good and then for the mark it would have to be something like very bougie like i was thinking about this one but it would probably actually it would probably be that one right, hold on, let me see no, that looks pretty cool right there. So, yeah, like, this one was the very first one I did. Obviously, I don't remember the Menagerie one or the ones before, but this one was probably the first one where I was like, this looks, she looks bougie as fuck. Like, she looks like, she looks like royalty. So, I'm actually pretty happy with this one. Uh, next season is Season of Dawn, which I think is also really cool. So, I'll be right back. For Season of Dawn, we have the Sun Bracers. I just thought it'd be fitting that I would use this on Season of Dawn considering uh, Osiris was there. So this one was actually probably one of my favorites just because I matched the the color of this so well with this color and that color at the top as well. Not only that, the helmet also has like a, like a little glow and, then, and at that moment we didn't have like really a lot of helmets that had glows or ones that I didn't actually like. So that one's like the one that I was like, ah, fuck it, like it's good enough. So if I were to change like anything from this whole set, it would probably be the chest piece. I feel like the chest piece just does not fit with it. So something like maybe with this or something a little bit more fancy, I guess you would say, because like the boots just do not fit with like that trench coat that I was wearing. Which is why, like, I'm like, oh, I don't. Looking back, I'm like, it's cool that I did that, but I definitely wish we had more chest piece that had glows, because obviously I could do that, but then I would have two pieces of of the same thing: the virtuous robe and the virtuous boots. Uh, at that point, probably change the boots at at that point, or maybe this. But even then, the bone doesn't change color, so that's immediately something I don't like. And this is this is literally where, where my head goes like where what would I like this would this mm, this looks pretty cool not gonna lie but the lightkin robe is is cheating it looks really good with pretty much everything at this point so unfortunately I cannot in good conscience use the lightkin robes just because it's like cheating it's such a good robe like I said um, but yeah again this is like literally probably one of my favorite armor sets that I did for my warlock just because at that time like i matched all of that really well again i don't know what i would use i'm trying to think of something and nothing's really coming to my head like maybe this one but even then it's like whatever's uh next armor set is going to be season of the worthy so i'll be right back then we have season of the worthy which is probably one of the coolest ones i know i keep saying that but i think these are all pretty cool in their own way this one was just super cool because i was really trying to go for a gold that would match the chest right here because if you guys don't know unfortunately this chest piece does not change the gold in any way shape or form so as you guys as you guys as you guys can see the gold still still there the gold still here the gold still here the gold still here there's a lot of gold in this so it's very important for you to at least try to like combine the golds i know in the middle you can still see like the different colors of gold but i actually didn't really i wasn't really bothered by that because i think i matched all the other golds pretty well if i were to like go back and actually f try to find a shader that goes really well with that shape uh with that gold I would probably say something along the, uh, like this maybe just because this gold is a little bit uh 
desaturated, but that's thankfully I'm not doing that. And I think the all these pieces work really well together. Uh, this mark is super, or this bond is super cool because uh, the shader or the the light does change color a little bit, but the one that I chose for it I think is really well. Uh, these are super dope because of the gold. It's super gold, or I don't even know what that would be, honestly. But I I really don't have much to say about this uh, this armor set, really. Just because I think, like, just visually it looks cool. I wasn't going for a theme or anything. I just wanted to go for the chest piece and something cool. But if you guys know Warlocks, then you guys know that, like, 80% of them would probably be looking like this. Uh, right, yeah. This one. All right, here we are. Most most warlocks would be looking like this with the with the really fast boots right here because literally every warlock just looks like that and you can't even fight me on that. But yeah, let's go on to season. So yeah, let's go on to season of the arrivals and then we'll get on to Beyond Light after that. And for Season of the Arrivals, I have Ophidian's Aspects. I was going for, like, a librarian look, obviously, because of the chess piece. It's very, like, like almost like you're a college teacher or a college professor. So I was, like, immediately, like, all right, I'm going to go for, like, a student look, which means uh, this one was definitely something I wanted to do so that way I can look like a teacher. Uh, then aren't, like, chet, like, legs, honestly, weren't really bothering me too much, but what really helped me out was the mark, the bond because you guys a little paper right there so this one was legit pretty cool the only weird thing was that like when i look back at this i was like did i really use ophidians for this it makes no sense like any even in the video that i made about this armor set i was like yeah i went for, with with ophidians obviously and i'm like what do you mean obviously like it, it makes no sense like why so this one was a bit weird i i would definitely not use these exotics anymore but I still think this looks super super cool. Again, Ophidians is just such a weird choice on my in my behalf. Like I don't know why I chose them. Um, really, honestly, I'm still I'm still kind of like why though. But it doesn't look bad. I don't think it looks bad at all. Um, if I were to choose like a different exotic, it would most likely be something that makes me look uh, like maybe the, the Apotheosis Veil actually. Like, this would probably be the one I would wear, even though, like, the exotic is just, like, absolute fucking hot dog shit. Uh, I was thinking about the stag just, like, just without the ornament, because the ornament, I look like fucking, like a transformer. Or maybe Felwinter's Helm, because that was available, and I probably should have done that, because then I would have looked really cool. But I wasn't thinking. Uh, and I don't really use this exotic much if at all so it would probably go to Phil winter's helm the stag apotheosis veil uh for arms probably the getaway artist with the ornament yeah that would have been actually that would have been a smart idea let me see this real quick because that would have oh i'm a little mad that would have been such a way better one because it, it makes more sense yeah that looks super cool this is the problem, bro. This is the problem when you look at your back stock. You're just like, why didn't I choose this? Like, in hindsight, this would have been so much better. But, yeah, this would probably be what I would be wearing. Plus, with the, uh, where is it? This one right here. I just think that's super cool. Yeah, that looks way better. So, that's Season of the Arrivals. Let's get on with C uh, Beyond Light. And for Beyond Light, we have Transversive Steps. Now, this is a pretty funny one because, obviously, Vex, Vex with the uh with uh hold on, oh my god what the fuck is it called oh so for beyond light we have the fuck what's the, transversive and for beyond light we have the transversive steps so this one was a pretty funny transmog for me because i was trying to go for a vex look obviously uh obviously this is not a vex look like the helmet and i probably should have waited i knew i should have waited but obviously I could just do this now which it looks way better maybe the arms could be different as well uh, maybe I don't know the unfortunate part is like I I tend to really like to not wear the same piece more than once so I would love to wear this 
but it just it looks too similar obviously it's the same armor set so at that point i would probably go with like literally almost anything else but it th this was this was what, what was rough for me when i was doing this one is like i just didn't know what to wear because everything kind of looked the same and now that i really think about it i just remembered of a really cool arm uh arm that i could use that would look vexy um let me see if i can find it oh man no not that one although this would be wouldn't be bad but it's uh oh, it's gonna bug me do i even have i should have it i've ran that thing so many times i should have it it is oh here it is this one definitely and then like for for this at that point i could literally i was gonna say literally but no you can't use anything i want like maybe this i guess like this would be like true truly truly uh vex it looks pretty cool in my opinion the arms i think look really dope and then the helmet obviously is super cool as well i think the the bond is like the only thing that doesn't look vexy but maybe this one Oh shit, yeah, yo, that looks pretty fire. And then, then at that point, I would probably actually change the shaders to like actually use it. I, w I would want to use something pink so that way like I can keep the glow. But I also want like some red so that way I can match this this right here. This, like the Vex set, I've, I've always wanted to make a Vex set. It's super hard just because like you really, you really need to be hitting that shit, but this is probably what I would go for, like, to start off with. I think it looks really cool. I think, actually, ooh, yo, that looks good. No green, though, um, on this. So it would have to be red. What I'm thinking about is, like, something like this. Yeah, because I, I, I would need the helmet to have something, like, red. So, like, that. That actually... This actually looks pretty cool. And then obviously I would have to change this because there's obviously no pink. But if I can find like a, like a slight red. And this is... I don't... I don't love it. But you guys get my drift. This is like where my head goes when I'm trying to do stuff like this. So yeah, this is what I would do for a Vex look. If you're if you're a Warlock and you're trying to do a Vex look, this is definitely something I would go for. Uh, I think the arms are good, but also I can see why people wouldn't like it. I personally don't fuck with this piece right here. It's super weird. So if you are like not liking that, then I guess you could use something like this, which would also look super cool because it does have like wiring and whatnot, but I probably wouldn't use it. So yeah, let's get on with the next one, which is Season of the Chosen. And for Season of the Chosen, we have Geomag Stabilizers. This is also a pretty cool set. If I, like, I know a lot I keep saying that, but this one is definitely super cool just because of the fact that I pretty much matched all of the blue. So obviously blue here, blue on, on the whole chest piece, honestly. Blue on the, the electrical parts here or the, yeah, whatever. And then the blue up here, which I know looks like white. I know a lot of it looks like white, but it is blue. And... I think it looks super dope. There's even blue on these two dots right there. I think this one looks super dope. If I did have to change it though, it would probably be the arms. I feel like the arms just look a little too mechanical for me. I would most likely just switch it to, to these just because they look way better with it. Uh, but I also understand why people probably wouldn't like that. So I'd probably just like literally just switch it out with something like this. Even though for me, I don't like these personally. I don't like that the fact that they look like fucking christmas gloves for some reason specifically this one uh, it just it bugs the shit out of me but this this is also like a really bad thing that warlocks have is the fact that you it's it's noticeable where the arms are like these are arms it does not meld well with the chest piece at all so that's why i'm like i always hate wearing chest pieces with or i always hate putting arms just because some of them look very noticeable and some actually look pretty dope like this actually looks pretty decent just because it's not just like a right there that's that's where the arms stop at least this one there's like a little bit of uh like it's over here but it's, you can also see inside there it's hard to explain but i hope you guys understand me but i would probably go for something like this just because yeah that looks way better 
personally, especially since each side like this is a very symmetrical armor set right now. Obviously, without the the bond because you don't, you can only have one bond on one side. So if you cut it in half, it's very symmetrical, and that's why I love it so much. Let's see with the new one though. Oh, dude, this one looks super cool. I actually like this one more. Just because this one, it gives her a, like, like, all of the business is at the bottom. While this one is just, like, there's a bunch of stuff down here, but there's also a bunch of stuff up here. I don't know. I do, like, she just looks a little bit more elegant with this one. And with the other one, this this one, it just there's just so much happening. So, it's either or at that point. I'd probably use this one, though. And maybe change the boots, but at that point, like, I'm changing the look altogether. So, this is pretty cool. Let me know what your thoughts in the comments below are. And for the next one, it's going to be Season of the Splicer. And for Season of the Splicer, we have Transversive Steps again. I know that I said that in, in, a, in a, I think, the Hunter video that I said I would, like, not use the same armor the same time. I think this one was the exception just because of real fact that i wanted to really make this chess piece look all good and like just go full in like not give a shit about it and i think it, it came out really well obviously with the yellow here the yellow here and the yellow here and then i did try to use like yellow on the on the hands but decided against it just because it wasn't looking good but now that i really think about it i would probably change the arms just because they don't look that good and even in the video that I like showcased this, I even said like I don't like the arms personally. So I would most likely try to do something. <sighs> it sucks because like I really wish we had more glows for the arms. But I think the only ones we have is like this one and this one. So I don't know. This one this one's a little hard just because I don't know what I would use for the arms. Oh shit, no, I know, I know exactly what I would use. What the fuck am I thinking about, bro? I'd use these. And then obviously go for the orange, which... Oh, that would be hard. That's a, that's a hard orange to go for. Um, yeah, that's that's definitely... I don't think I'll able, be able to get that orange. Just because it's... I don't think I don't think we have that. I'll just go for black. So I'd go for something like this. Obviously, I would like to go for, for like, that dark orange. Uh, but this would probably be the only thing I change, just because I really do fuck with this chess piece so much. I really like love the fact that this, this this bond is literally why I went with the orange look because it doesn't change color. That orange does not change color, which kind of made me challenge myself and see if I could like make orange work for the bright for this so this one is definitely my favorite hands down this one and i think the next one are definitely like some of my favorite armor sets i've done for the warlock just because it really felt like i was pushing pushing myself with it and yeah this one it's just you know i don't think it looks bad personally it's just i don't i don't like it i'd, I'd like it i would like it a lot more if like there was a yellow glow in the wiring but yeah, this is it for a season of the Splicer. It's one of definitely one of my favorite sets. And then we'll be going to season of the Lost. That will be the last one. And that's what I'm currently wearing. And last but not least, we have season of the Lost. The, this one and the last one are definitely one of my favorites for my Warlock. I think this one in particular is probably a little bit in, more special in my heart just because it looks so good. And uh, this one, I've gotten a lot of compliments on the fact that I've been wearing this helmet right here. So people have been like on my Twitter, obviously, if you guys want to follow me on my Twitter, it's uh, Twitter slash fix underscore Tony. It's where I'd, I'll be posting mo most of my fashion stuff. But this one definitely has a special place in my heart just because this is, this is the set that I was just like, this looks so good. It really kills me that I could not find an armor or a shader that had like glowing red and black uh, like uh, bandages just because I feel like it would have made it pop even more but I, I definitely don't hate bloody tooth it's definitely the best shader I found to like complement all of this but I will I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say it's the best because the best would have been obviously uh, the red here and the red on, on, on the bottom of the shoes to be like actually glowing or not glowing but shiny so yeah this is like my favorite i have nothing to add to it like the fact that i wanted to go for 
a bandaged look like like literally like i'm a burn victim because this one like i was like i'm using the the solar exotic i might as well go for like like if i've i can use fire but it also like burns me so that's what i was going for and yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below uh, I thank you all. Obviously, you guys are great. I love you guys, and I will see you guys later.